Sarah. Welcome to the Daily English Show. Today we're studying a scene from the second season of a TV show called How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother is an American sitcom that originally aired from 2005 to last year, 2014. In this scene, a woman called Robin goes to her friend Lily's bridal shower. A bridal shower is a party for a woman and her female friends before a wedding. Apparently, a bridal shower is different to a bachelorette party. A bridal shower is usually a bit more boring and stuffy and includes older family members, whereas a bachelorette party is more of a wild night out with friends. In New Zealand, some people have bachelorette parties, but they're called hens parties. And a bachelor party in New Zealand is called a stag party or a stag night or a stag do. Anyway, so Robin goes to Lily's party and she's imagining it'll be more of a bachelorette party, a wild night out with friends. So the gift she brings is a sex toy. It's a vibrator, which her friend Barney describes as a battery-powered adult recreational fake penis. But it turns out the party is more of a bridal shower and it's full of Lily's relatives, like little kids and grandmothers. So when Robin arrives with her gift, she's in an awkward position. Lily introduces Robin to her mum, Janice, and Janice says to Robin, Oh honey, I'm so glad to finally meet you. This is a great phrase to remember for when you're first introduced to someone that you've known about for some time, like a relative of a close friend or a friend of a friend. If you're introduced to a random person, you can say, it's nice to meet you. But if it's someone that you've heard about, it's good to acknowledge the fact that you've heard about them and also to express your enthusiasm to be meeting them and say something like, I'm so glad to finally meet you, or it's great to finally meet you. If we got to know each other online, maybe on a social network or exchanging a few emails, and then we met offline, I might say something like, wow, it's so great to finally meet you in person. Kia ora in stick news today, a candidate in a local election in England has demanded a recount after he got no votes at all. Paul Dennis is a 45-year-old train conductor. Paul decided he wanted to be a councillor on the Medway Council, the local authority of Medway in Kent, England. The elections were held earlier this month and Paul got zero votes. News reports say when the results were read out, the room burst into laughter, leaving Paul red-faced and fuming. Paul said, I was gutted, to be honest. It was a bit humiliating, especially at work. He's now demanding a recount. He says he definitely voted for himself, and his wife and father also said they voted for him. And that was Stick News for Monday the 25th of May. Kia ora. Today's word is gutted. In today's news, Paul Dennis said he was gutted after the election. Gutted is an informal word for extremely disappointed. For example, I was gutted when I found out the Mindy project had been cancelled. But then I was stoked when I found out that it had been saved by Hulu. Gutted is obviously used in the UK, like in the news story today. And it's pretty common here in New Zealand. Have you heard the word gutted before? When was the last time you were gutted? Oh honey, I'm so glad to finally meet you. Me too. Oh here, let me take your gift. Let me guess what it is. Is it a mini food processor? I 
Okay, what color is it? I guess I'm just going to have to wait and see. Me too, I've heard so much about you. Oh, um, no, black, which party would you expect to be crazier? A, a bachelorette party, B, a bridal shower. A bachelorette party. What did Robin bring to the party? A. A mini food processor. B. A sex toy. A sex toy. When you're introduced to a random person, you should say A. It's nice to meet you. B. It's nice to finally meet you. It's nice to meet you. Gutted means A. Mildly disappointed B. Extremely disappointed Extremely disappointed Why was Paul Dennis gutted? A. He got no votes B. His wife refused to vote for him He got no votes And that was The Daily English Show you can go to thedailyenglishshow.com slash 1421 to see the script for today's show. And please let me know if you have any suggestions for a scene from a TV show or movie that you'd like to study. See you tomorrow. Bye.